Hello friends, this video on visualizing solid shapes part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, let us talk about some other three dimensional shape like a cube. So even before we talk about the 2D outline for a cube, we will introduce a term called net. So what are nets? So net is a skeleton outline in 2D which when folded gives a 3D shape. So net is basically a technical term that is given for the skeleton outline in 2D. Like as you saw in the previous slide that for the pyramid you had a technical outline which was in two dimension that could have been drawn on a sheet of paper. So that two dimensional outline is called net for that pyramid. Now can you tell me what would be the net for this cube? So in order to determine that, first let us talk about a cube. So what are the properties of a cube? A cube has all the sides equal and it has all the surfaces also equal. So each and every face of a cube, how many faces are there in a cube? Let's say this is one face on the top, one in the front, one in the side. You will have one in the bottom that would be the fourth face. You will have one at the back fifth face and you will have one at the other side. So you will have a total of how many faces? Six faces. And how are these faces? I mean what is the shape of these faces? Each of the face is a square. So you basically need six squares. So that is our requirement. So that means our skeleton outline would consist of six squares. Now here also I have colored them, colored each square differently so that even we can relate it to this cube. So if this is 1, this also represents 1, this represents 2, this represents 3 and this is our fourth surface which is at the bottom and which will form the base. So this would be the base of the cube. And what are these two? The two in yellows, one is 5 which will lie opposite to 2 and the other one is 6 which will lie opposite to 3. So now can you think of a scenario that how can you fold this so that you can get this cube it's pretty simple so you fold it along this line fold it along this line fold it along this line and also along this line now the moment you fold all of these what happens you get a box like structure so the only thing that you did not get yet is the cover of the box and that cover would you will get that cover by folding this portion that is with one you can cover it so that's how you would get a cube. So in this fashion, you can actually make this outline into a cube. So I hope you understand how do you do this. So what I would advise is take a sheet of paper, draw this outline. So this outline, once you draw this, make folds along these lines. Now, as I said, make folds along these lines and then cover it with one that is this surface and that's how you would get this cube so that means this two dimensional outline is the net for this cube because this basically gives rise to this three dimensional shape now in a similar way let us look at the net for a cuboid because cube and cuboid are similar to some extent because they both have six surfaces but the only difference is that in cube all the surfaces are squares but in cuboid, you have rectangles as their surfaces. So how many surfaces do you have total in a cuboid? Here also you have six surfaces, but here all the sides are not equal. So you actually have rectangular surfaces as well. So let us say this is surface number one. On the top is two, on one side is three. So on the back, you would have four. On the other side, you would have five. And the base or the bottom, you would have six. So these are the six surfaces. Now, in order to have a rectangular surface, what we can do is we can take two squares. Two squares when joined together makes a rectangle. So instead of taking some rectangles and some squares, we take all squares. But instead of taking one square, we combine two squares. So basically what we do is, let's say this is one square, this is another square. So these two together make this surface one. Similarly, let's say this is the base. So these blue colors represent the base. So let's say this would make the base. So let, let us call this 6A and 6B because number 6 represents the base surface, right? So this is base and let us call this as 3. This is 3. So this is base and what is yellow? Yellow is the back surface which is not seen from here but the back surface is 4. So let us call this 4A and 4B. So basically these, these two 
squares together make a rectangle. Again, these two squares together make a rectangle. The two blue squares again make a blue rectangle. So the blue rectangle will form the base. The pink rectangle would form the front surface and the yellow rectangle would form the back surface. Now, what about the sides? The sides would be formed by the red ones. So what are the sides? Number three and number five are the sides. So let us say this is number three and this is number five. So these are the sides. And what about the top? So the top would be made by these two. So the top would be made by the green squares. So let's say top is two, number two. So this is two A and this is two B. So this two A and two B together will make the top of the cuboid. So you see these are the different pieces that we have on a sheet of paper and now this entire two dimensional outline can be drawn on a sheet of paper. That means this entire structure is two dimensional, right? So it is a two dimensional outline. But the moment you start folding it, you gradually end up with the three dimensional cuboid. So how do you fold it? So you start folding it in this fashion. So just observe it. So first you fold the 6A, 6B side so that you can make the front surface. Then you fold the back surface like this. So now you have the front surface as pink and the back surface as yellow. Now it's time for the side ones. So for the side surfaces, again, you make a fold like this. So three and five. So you see you are getting gradually getting a box like structure. Now for the, for the top, you make fold of the last two green surfaces. Now what will happen? The moment here I have just shown the top view, I have not joined them. But the moment you, you know, kind of paste these surfaces with each other, like the pink ones with the red ones, the yellow ones with the red ones, when you paste them together, Similarly, when you paste the two greens together, what do you get? You get exactly this cuboid. So this very clearly shows that this was a net which was a two dimensional outline. But when you make proper foldings with appropriate foldings, the same two dimensional outline turns into a three dimensional cuboid. So now what we will do is we will experimentally do this. We will make this cuboid from its net. So that's what we are going to do now. This sheet of paper is a net for a cuboid. So we will see that how do we make a three dimensional cuboid by making certain folds in this sheet of paper. Now we have uh, made blocks of different colors so that we can distinguish different surfaces or different faces of the cuboid. So the first turn or the first fold we make along the red block. The next fold is along the green block and we see that the two green blocks they come together as we fix them together and it makes a rectangle which is one face of the cuboid. And the final fold is along the yellow blocks and they form the side faces of the cuboid which are again rectangular faces. So this is a three dimensional cuboid where you can very distinctly see its length, breadth and height. This is the net for a three dimensional cone. We can see how do we make folds to make a cone out of this. First we take this sheet of paper and fold it to make the surface of the cone. And we fix the two ends so that you actually get the shape of a cone. So this forms the surface of the cone. Now we place the circular sheet of paper over this cone which makes it a complete three dimensional cone. So you see that we arrived at this three dimensional structure of the cone where we started with a two dimensional net. A rectangle and two circles form the net of a cylinder. So let us see how can we fold or make changes to this to build a three dimensional cylinder. We take the rectangular sheet of paper and fold it to form the curved surface of the cylinder. Once the curved surface of the cylinder is ready, it's time to place the circular surface. Place the circle on one end of the cylinder. So once the circular surface is fixed, now what we do? We flip the cylinder and now we have to 
place the second circle on this surface. Take the second circular sheet of paper and place it on this top. So we made a three dimensional cylinder using the two dimensional net. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.